Recount Thursday is sponsored by Arena Eats. Log on to the website, arenaeats.app, that's arenaeats.app, for the ultimate fan experience. At your favorite sports venue, Arena Eats mobile app, pre-order, express pickup, and in-seat delivery. How do you place your order? About the Elimination Chamber coming up uh, this Sunday night on the uh, award-winning uh, WWE Network. Um, so we get back-to-back weekends with a uh, pay-per-view event or a special event on the uh, network. I think this one, this one qualifies as a pay-per-view. Uh, Sam Roberts needs to f- realize that NXT takeovers are not a uh, an actual pay-per-view. Because uh, he kept saying that on the uh, on the kickoff show, but let's uh, let's 30, uh, jump three. right in here. Yes, Ryan. Thirty three. What's that? The uh, number of wrestling books that are on my bookshelf. Okay, so thirty three. How many of them have you read? One. <laughs> and which one is that? Um, I forget what it was even called. That, uh, Let me Mick try to Foley find it. A nice day. It was not. No. Was, was it one of the Rock's books? It was not. Was it one of Chris Jericho's not. books? It was Fat not. Uh, was it? It was. <laughs> it was looking at the lights. The Pete Gas book. No way. Here comes the money. Dead serious. <laughs> That's right, because we you you did get all hyped up because I think was when he was on our show that book was like just about to come out, right? Something like that. Something like that. Something um, like that. And uh, I bought it and I took it on a vacation with me and I sat on the beach and I read the book and I fucking loved it. And that was the last book I read like five years ago. That's fair. I mean, the last book I read cover to cover to cover was was Bret Hart's book, and that was a decade ago. Easily. Now- I'm not is much of a reader. Actual drool on the pages, or did they just like make it look like? I kind of walked right into that one, didn't I? I can't even. I can't even get mad at it because I feel like I just. I did that to myself. I did that one to myself. I can you only have to lick your finger to turn the pages, Jim. It was already pre <laughs> pre lit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh man, I am too. I am too. I definitely. That so was a really good book, though. It, it was. Brent's book was good. I enjoyed that one. It was uh, really long too. Long ass book. Long ass book. Was it called? Uh, my real life in the cartoon world of pro wrestling, or something like that. Oh, oh that's right. That's the one where uh, the Jerry Lawler doodled on the inside, right? Yes. Yes. Did the uh, did the did the the picture on the the front and back the inside? Cover. I actually I actually own that book. I'm it sure you do. It's called Hitman. Yes, keeping my bookshelf. Uh. <laughs> what an asshole! All right, let's talk elimination chamber. Now, there's originally five matches scheduled. Uh, one of these matches, I'm sure, is not happening. Uh, and as of right now, I don't believe there has been a replacement for it. That was the uh, Oscar versus Lacey Evans match because. Uh, Lacey Evans done got knocked up with Ric Flair's baby, so uh, that match is off. And uh, yes, Devin, this is uh, thank you for reminding us. This is the last pay per view on the network before the move to the cock, uh, to the peacock. Um, so, do we think that they're going to have a replacement women's title match, or are they just going to drop the Raw women's title off the card? Do you have any well, th- If they had Lacey Evans still wrestle, it could be a two on one match, technically. Jesus. Um, I'd so like. There's, to- there's mixed news on the WWE website. Okay. Like on the on the quick hits list, it's removed, but if you scroll down, the graphic is still there. And somebody in IT is getting fired. Yeah, so 
I don't know. I mean, she's, at least per reports, is legit pregnant. So, like, if that is true, <laughs> she's not going to be wrestling. Um, Or she is, and she's just not bumping. I guess. Uh, I don't think we'll let her anywhere near the ring. That could be uh that could be a PR nightmare, but sure. <laughs> um women, women work out all the time. Well, true. Um What is she going to do in a ring and not bump? She's gonna throw a woman's right. They're gonna make her the champion? E, probably. Oof. She'd be the first pregnant. No, she wouldn't. Becky and that's how she's pregnant. going to go over Asuka? Yep. One punch. Oof. Well, Ric Flair is going to go woo woo woo, and he's going like, <laughs> to show some. He's going to show some chicken legs, and then she's going to punch her in the. Um. No. Yeah. I. I hope not. I hope this her. matches off, or or they have a replacement. I don't know how you how you just throw a Raw Women's Title match on there, but I feel like you have to have more than four matches on on a pay per view. There's card. technically five. Not counting this one. Yes, not counting this one. What's the fifth one? Wait. The winner of the SmackDown Elimination Chamber match faces Roman Reigns later that night. That's right. part of the that's part of the five. Yeah, it's part of the five. It's that one, the the SmackDown Elimination Chamber, the Raw Elimination Chamber, and the US title match. What's the fifth one? Oh, well then WWE the WWE website still has Oscar Lacey Evans as a match. Right, okay. So I'm I'm saying that one's probably off the card. Nah, until it's not off the card, it's not it's on the card. Okay. All right. Well, let's. Okay. So let's predict. Well, how's this going to play out? I'm going to say the match yeah, isn't going to happen, and there'll be a stare down between Charlotte and Oscar. <laughs> it's short. <laughs> that's, that's, that sounds as plausible as anything else. So right, Ryan. Like, what What do you think is going to happen with this? If the match happens. Asuka will hit a hip attack into Lacey Evans' midsection, causing her to... I'm going to stop. Never mind. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> causing her to have a horrible bout of diarrhea. Oh, my God. Oh. I don't know. Uh, Mark well, came uh, out the front butt. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you just hit the Bobby sounder yeah. like 12 times? Bobby, 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 Bobby. A ten Bobby song. Bobby. Um, Mark, what? We, no, I'm not gonna go to Mark. Tim. <laughs> um, Mark's broken. Yeah, I, I think if we do, um, this is all. This is a, probably a really cool spot to bring in like Rhea Ripley. Okay, that um, that was a comment, to, kind of a comment yeah. right here. That'd be a good spot for that. Yeah, um, I feel dumb for going the miscarriage route now. Oh yep. Um, but it it could be it could be Peyton Royce too. Ain't gonna be her. It could be. It Peyton. could be because her and Lacey, Lacey have Peyton been teaming be together. Eva Marie. It ain't gonna be her either. <laughs> it could be. I mean, Eva Marie. Oh my blood. God! What has Peyton I mean, Royce done now. recently? About as much as Eva Marie. I think she's beaten Charlotte Flair on TV recently. You might be right. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I just need to watch wrestling more. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Um, but yeah, Peyton and, and Lacey have been teaming together. So if if Lacey can't go, then, then having her teammate fill in the spot would, would be um, seemingly a reasonable substitute. Um, Matt, what, what, what could, should happen here? They should have a women's elimination chamber match for the title. What will happen is probably what you said. Charlotte will come. There's going to be a stare down and there will be no women's match on the card. Mark. Does Ric Flair and Oscar hook up then? Oh God. Yes. Oh God. <laughs> Here's a storyline. <laughs> uh, 
I'd like uh, I like Tim's idea of having uh, Rhea Ripley come in. That would be really cool. I'd like to see that happen. I'm going to go with that. Yeah, uh, we had a comment here from the uh, RSGP Toys account. Um, why not have a spot for an NXT challenger? So th- theoretically, uh, you know, Rhea Ripley, uh, c- you know, kind of fits that bill. Looking back on it, when was the last time um, she actually did bump? Because I don't think she bumped. Uh, she obviously didn't bump Monday. She didn't bump Monday. Was she even involved in a match in a week or two? Or has she gone a while without bumping? Maybe it's been known that E said, let's hold on to the storyline until the no, week before. I think, I, I think and she, then pull up Rhea Ripples. I think she bumped last week. Uh, re- the report was they found out on Monday. That she was pregnant, and and that's why they ran the angle where early in the night she talked about being in the match on Sunday, and then when she was in a tag match, she she was you know she was on the apron and then backed away and you know did the you know Charlotte I'm pregnant and just walked out, um and oddly like the match just ended, like her tag team partner was still there I don't know why the match ended but. It just, uh, I guess the news blew up the world enough that, um, so, uh, Devin says, why, you know, do an open challenge. That would be cool as well. That's how Rhea, uh, could get into the spot. Um, that's how Eva Marie could get into the spot. That is how Eva Marie, that is how Eva Marie, uh, could get into, uh, into the spot. So let's, yeah, let's touch on this one. Cause I think I was going to ask about it or I, or I, pose the question to the social media audience because yeah there's not a women's elimination chamber match on this card um what what do you guys think about that you know obviously two men's elimination chamber matches for me i mean do i wish there was one sure but in the same time i feel like the roads to wrestlemania and and i know you know on the surface it's Everything's wide open because Bianca hasn't even picked her WrestleMania opponent yet. But I feel like the the, the roads at, to WrestleMania seem pretty clear for the for the women's division. I feel like we're going Bianca and Sasha, and I feel like we're going to get Asuka and Charlotte, whether anybody wants it or not. So I just feel like the, those matches are kind of so you know. So if they're just going to throw a women's chamber match together to you know, to, to, for 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 what? I guess would be the question. I guess you could have Sasha defend or Oscar defend, um, but you know, it, it's it, is it a bummer that, that, that there's not one on there? Sure, but I I, I also don't. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Ryan. I I you know I I don't necessarily think you have to throw one together just to have one on the card. Because I think that can do the women a bit of disservice as well. Um, it, I mean, it comes back to bad booking. But um, anybody who you'd hate to see one get thrown together for a championship on Raw it just wouldn't make any sense at all, would it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no sense. You'd hate to see. It. I am not. Uh, I don't have a problem with no women in the uh, in the match. Uh, in an elimination chamber. In fact, there shouldn't be any women matches because there's not a SmackDown women's, there's not a tag team women's. Just take the, all the women off and they should uh, just not wrestle anymore. We'll pretend it's in Saudi Arabia and it'll be great. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wouldn't want to do anything hastefully, though. That's not what I was getting at. Me either. I mean, but, but your point was that they're like, did, is anyone thinking that? McIntyre drops the belt. I mean, spoiler alert, I actually have him dropping the belt on Sunday. Okay, well, you're always wrong, so <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That is true. That's part of Kobe. the charm of, of Jim's <laughs> pro wrestling scorecards, <laughs> is just that he gets all the little points right and then the finish. Yeah, I get like a pinfall and the occasional like how many uh, near falls was there? <laughs> so, there I mean, was a ladder involved. Three <laughs> points. <laughs> I did, they did break that table. <laughs> My God. That, ta- that table broke itself. Thank you, table. 22 minutes long. So good. <laughs> I don't. 
I don't know why, like they've, they've done it so many times now that it's just feels weird to not have the women's elimination chamber to me. Like that, that's the only question I have is if you're going to do it, why not have them? But, you know, as, as you said, to do it now wouldn't make sense just right. to throw it together. Um, doesn't add up. Could they do it now, though, with Asuka saying, look, I lost my competitor like Drew McIntyre. I want to just defend mine in the cell. I mean, I guess you could. Or the I... chamber. I'm sorry, not the cell. You know, and then, the you know, with three out of five matches in a chamber, there's actually a reason to call the event Elimination Chamber. So it'd actually be one of the first times that the event title actually made sense. I mean, there, were, there were three hells in cells, so why not That's true. three Elimination Chambers? Three Count Thursday is sponsored by Arena Eats. Log on to the website, arenaeats.app, that's arenaeats.app, for the ultimate fan experience. At your favorite sports venue, Arena Eats mobile app, pre-order, express pickup, and in-seat delivery. How do you place your order? How many was there last year? Wasn't there a tag team one last year, right? Yeah. With with the the Lucha Brothers or whatever and the the Heavy Machinery, uh, was that last? That- yes, yes, that was last year. Was that last year, um, yeah, that was also like four days before, like before the world shut down. That was in okay. Philly on March the eighth. So there were fans there, right? There was yeah. fans there. It was March the eighth, and then it was by the end of the by the end of that week, I think smackdown was in the performance center in an empty performance center i believe that friday night so it was like elimination chamber and raw were normal and then by the time we got to smackdown on friday things were not normal so um i mean to be fair that last elimination chamber there was uh neither title neither men's singles title uh was defended on that pay per view, the oh. U.S. T- the U.S. title was okay. The Intercontinental title was the Raw tag titles and the SmackDown tag titles were, but the Universal and WWE were not. Oh yeah, because your champions were Brock and Oldberg, right? I'm not Whoa. sure who the champions were. Oh, I said it. Wow. Yeah, it was definitely it was definitely Brock, but it was it was Oldberg because it was supposed to be Oldberg versus Roman at Mania, and then it became Big Bill versus the the Choo Choo Man. Yeah, because because Roman took his uh, took the took the time off because of COVID. So yeah, so that's why there was no main titles because Big Bill only works twice a year, and and Brock it worked part time as well. Is the Choo Choo Man, the Godfather. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Godfather. Godfather won the WWE Universal title uh, at, at WrestleMania last year. That's how long ago it was. Um, <laughs> any any other thoughts to no women's chamber match on this uh, on the card before we actually dig into the matches themselves? No, but before we do real quick, last year's card. uh it's crazy to see how many people aren't active or even with the company anymore. Uh, the dark match was the Viking Raiders versus Hawkins and Ryder. Uh, Daniel Bryan versus Drew Gulak was the opening match. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Hinga, dinga, dargan. I forgot. Uh, Andrade with Zelina Vega um, uh, defeated Umberto Carrillo. Haven't heard from them in a while. Um, who the hell is this? Yeah, I, I, was just lo- I was just looking for that one. <laughs> uh, the who SmackDown the Chamber match was uh, the tag team match, uh, but most of them are still around. Yeah, they're still around. Uh, Alistair Black and AJ Styles, yeah. the Street Profits, and and Murphy and Rollins, and then uh, oh, this is a big freaking card. The Women's Chamber match, and then. Uh, Oh, the Choo Choo Man was in a match there for the uh, IC Championship when uh, Zayn, Nakamura, and Cesaro collectively defeated the Choo Choo Man. Okay. Choo Choo. 
All right, let's uh, let's get into them. We have the, the Elimination Chamber match for the WWE Championship. Drew McIntyre uh, defending against AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton, Kofi Kingston, and Sheamus. Sheamus will be the last entrant uh, into the match. He won that uh, on, on Monday. Um, Kofi Kingston got in because The Miz uh, said, why am I in this match? I have a Money in the Bank briefcase. Um, as I already said, I actually have... What, Ryan? How stupid is that? Why wouldn't you want to be in that match? Why would he need to be in that match? Because wow. you win the match, you get a championship shot, right? Yeah, and then you still have the, well, no, this you match still is, have the briefcase. This match is for the title. Oh, it's for the title. All right, so you can win it. Right, but why put your body through that when you can just cash in on the guy who just got fucking wrecked in the chamber? All right, fair. That was his that was his point in the in the promo was like, why am I gonna put my body through this when six guys can beat the holy hell out of each other inside the chamber and then I can just come cash in at the end when it's over? Right, that's fair. Which I don't expect him to cash in on Sunday. Obviously that's been the running gimmick. Is uh is he keeps saying he's gonna cash in, he's gonna cash in. I mean, obviously eventually he will, but um I don't know. I feel like they're gonna put it on Sheamus to put it back on Drew. Um at uh, at Ryan's favorite pay per view, uh, the first one on the new network, Fastlane. And then, e -beep. and then we'll get uh, probably Edge versus Drew at at Mania, I think. So I have it going to Sheamus. Uh, Ryan, who do you got? I have Oscar entering this match and winning. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. I like that. Uh, it's our Mark. I, I hate to say because he's my, one of my least favorite. I'd say my least favorite wrestler is Sheamus, but I can totally see Sheamus winning winning this match. I don't like it, and I'm sorry if that upsets anybody. It's all right. We'll we'll uh, we'll let it slide this time, uh, Matt. I think Drew McIntyre just retains. I will quit this show if Sheamus wins. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh, -oh. uh Tim. <laughs> um boy. Uh, I'm going scary snake man here, Randy Orton. Okay. Now, do you see him holding are we gonna get Edge versus Randy Orton version seventy three no. at Mania or cause the fiend's coming back, man. <sighs> That's true. He did do some good the, the, we had we had uh Satan's uh, Alexa on on Monday. Millions of Alexas. Just she is the WWE universe. That answers the question. Why am I coming? <laughs> 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 All right, then we go. Then we go to the uh, the triple threat match for the United States title. We have Bob uh, Lashley defending against Keith Lee and Riddle. Now there is some question as to whether or not. Keith Lee will be available for this match. He was not at Raw this past Monday. Uh, the, I, I haven't seen anything that says injury um, or COVID. Now we know uh, Mia Yim, or should I say Reckoning, um, had tested positive for COVID. So we don't know if, if – but Keith Lee was at Raw last week but was not there this week. So um, not sure of his status. Uh, regardless, I have – uh, retaining the United States title. Uh, Tim, go ahead. Well, how can I top anything after that death curdle uh, in my ears? <laughs> Both of them. Uh, I'm going Bob Lashley here. Bobby! Matt? You know, if we're going to get the epic WrestleMania match that is Bob Lashley versus Damian Priest. We can't have Bob drop the title before then. So, by God, Bob is holding. Bobby. Uh, in turn, Mark. I am good with Bobby. Bobby. Uh, Ryan. I originally wrote down Riddle, but I'm going to change my answer to Lashley. Bob. All right. I get the shitty one, then now fuck it, Matt Riddle. Bobby! 
All right, back to Bob. Back yeah, to Bob Lashley. <laughs> All right. Then we go to the uh, the elimination. Although, weren't weren't two of these three guys in the PWG Jushin Liger thumb butt train? Uh, I know Riddle was. I'm pretty sure Keith Lee was. You might be right. And that... if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to look it up. But that's where we are in the WWE, folks. Jim Cornette's favorite match of all time, by the way. Solid match. <laughs> I'm fairly certain Keith Lee and Matt Riddle were both in there. All right, I think Tim's looking it up. We'll continue. We'll uh, we'll get the answer to this uh, this burning question. Uh, Devin, I'm sorry, Devin had Drew McIntyre winning uh, in that elimination chamber, and he also has Bob uh, winning uh, retaining the U.S. title here. Elimination chamber match for a Universal Championship match later. Uh, that night, we have Jey Uso, Kevin Owens, King Corbin, Sami Zayn, Cesaro, and Daniel Bryan uh, in the matchup. I have Jey Uso winning. Uh, somehow, Daniel Bryan is going to get screwed, uh, and Jey Uso is going to win this match. I don't know how you screw somebody in a chamber, but they'll figure out a way to do it. Uh, Jey Uso is going to win this match and go on to face Roman uh, mm-hmm. later in the night. Uh, Ryan, we'll go to you. Yeah. What was the question? I fucking wasn't listening. <laughs> the SmackDown Elimination Chamber, Jey Uso, Kevin oh, Owens. Cesaro. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mark, intern Mark. Uh, Cesaro was oh, my hi, Mark. as well. Hi, boys. Uh, Matt. Yes, I also have Cesaro, but I do look forward, Jim, if yours comes true, of seeing Jimmy <laughs> run down with that towel. Come on, Oops. Uh Tim. Uh, I am going to go Cesaro here. Actually, no, no, no. Daniel Bryan. Go on, Daniel Bryan. All right. Uh, RSGP Toys has Cesaro uh, winning here. I would also. I have a list of everyone in this train. Yes. So it, I it, think it, they're all signed, right? Oh, it's a who's who. It's so, wild. It's Jushin Liger's butthole. It, then it's Tomato Champs, so Tommaso <laughs> Ciampa. And then in him is Alistair Black. Tomato in, Champs! In him is Sammy Callahan. Who? In him is, oh, uh, what was his name? What was, uh, what was Solomon his Crow. Solomon Crow. Oh, got you. it. Um, inside him is Cedric Alexander. Okay, I know him. Inside him is Riddle. Inside him is Jeff Cobb. Who the hell is this? Inside him is Brian Kendrick. Oh, okay. that's the guy, Jim, that was training. Training uh, Eva Marie. Yes, of course. Yep. He was getting better. <laughs> Inside him is Chucky e. T, uh, Chuck Taylor. I have no idea who that is. And then there's somebody on the end who looks like Pete Dunn. I was definitely thinking Jeff Cobb as uh, as okay, and then Jushin Liger literally turns, walks them around the ring, and then ass tosses them like a hip toss, but like with his with his posterior, and that's why Jushin Liger is a WWE Hall of Famer. That spot right there, that solidified it. Nailed it. All that and was like, oh, that's good yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then, then, then we go to the singles match for the Universal Championship. Roman Reigns defending against your winner of the uh, the SmackDown Elimination Chamber match. This is where I have, and I, I don't know if you guys can read it or not in my uh, on my little board behind me. I've had I've had the little spoiler the whole time. In a finger poke of doom type finish where Jey Uso will lay down for the head of the table. It'll be Roman Reigns retaining. Uh, Tim. He'll throw the towel in on himself. <laughs> there we go. I like that. There we go. So it won't be full finger poke of doom, but it, it'll be it'll be to that level of, uh, of, of, of finish. Uh, Tim. Tim. Uh, the Uwa man retains. It's got to get us to WrestleMania versus whoever. 
Matt. Yes, I, I have Reigns retaining against Cesaro. How about you, intern Mark? I'm going to go with uh, Reigns is going to retain regardless of who he's facing. And Ryan. Yep, make it a clean slate for Roman Reigns. Very good. Uh, Devin had uh, Daniel Bryan winning the Elimination Chamber and uh, Reigns uh, winning here to retain uh, the title. So uh, that, of course, this Sunday night. Uh, I'm sure at some point there, there'll be maybe a match or two added, whether it's tomorrow night on SmackDown or Sunday uh, on the kickoff show or what have you. Um, I, I, I'd be surprised if we only go with four matches or see what they do with the, the fifth one with the Raw Women's title. Recount Thursday is sponsored by Arena Eats. Log on to the website arenaeats.app, that's arenaeats.app, for the ultimate fan experience. At your favorite sports venue, Arena Eats mobile app, pre-order, express pickup, and in-seat delivery. How do you place your order? 